everyone. This time I will share the nine steps in hypothesis testing. Please subscribe on my channel. So as we recall, there are two major areas of statistics. So we have here descriptive and then the inferential. So what is hypothesis testing? This is a major area of statistical inference which comprises the methods for validating decisions concerning hypotheses about one or more populations. Again, if you're going to select only sample, you're going to undergo hypothesis testing. So again, another, we have hypothesis testing is a procedure based on sample evidence and probability theory to determine whether the hypothesis is reasonable is a reasonable statement. Another one is the name of statistical tool that compares the collected data against the assumption to identify if the data are consistent or inconsistent with the given assumption. So what are the steps? So there are actually nine, uh, I specified there are nine steps in hypothesis testing so that you can understand what are the terms of what are the steps that you're going to undergo when you are going to select only sample. First, we have problem statement, then hypothesis. In hypothesis, there are two types, the null and the alternative. And then third step, you're going to choice of the statistics. And then the fourth, computation. After the computation, you have the decision rule, critical value, and your findings. Six, we have decision, whether you are going to accept or reject the null. Seven is the interpretation or analysis. Then the eighth, we have the conclusion. And then the nine is the implication. So what is the first one is problem statement. Problem statement, this corresponds to specific statement of the problem or your specific research objectives. Number two, hypothesis. There are two types, again, the null and the alternative. The null usually uh, specifies some aspect of population that is known or assumed to be true. This is usually no difference, no significant relationship, no impact, or no effect. Whereas the alternative is just the opposite of the null hypothesis. Third, the choice of test statistics, including the level of significance, is the basis at which you will decide when to reject or accept the null hypothesis. And this is the statistical technique. Fourth, we have there your computation. In your computation, you may use Excel or Minitab or software SPSS. Next, we have fifth, decision rule and findings. Decision rule deals on when to reject the null hypothesis. Reject the null if the level of significance alpha is greater than the p-value generated by a computer-based calculation. Number six, make a decision. If your alpha is greater than a p-value, then the null hypothesis is rejected. Otherwise, you're going to accept. Number seven is interpretation or analysis. This is restatement of the hypothesis that you are uh, being carried out. It can be a null or the alternative but make sure to provide further statistical explanations of the analysis. The number eight, this, this is the conclusion. The conclusion answers the main statement of the problem. And remember, there is no use of statistical form. There's no data in your conclusion. No more data set. And then number nine, this is the implications the whys of the findings and the interpretation synthesis from the responses so these are the nine steps in statistical hypothesis testing we hope that you found this video helpful 
If you have any questions please leave that in the comments below. You can recommend a topic to discuss in the future. Please watch my other math tutorial and don't forget to subscribe on my channel.